Oh, hey, Virgo. <laughs> I had a little camera glitch there for a minute. So we've already shuffled. So we're just going to keep on shuffling and see what comes out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Virgo. Anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who is guided here to see this Virgo love reading. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate you all so much. This is your love reading. It's for anyone who's guided to see it, really, anyone. Um, it's for December 2021, the last month of the year, so it's an important one, right? Let's see what love has, what's love got to do with December 2021 for the end of this year for Virgo having to do with love. What are the most important messages for Virgo or anyone else who's guided to see the Virgo reading? Okay, you have the world reversed you have the king of swords you have the nine of cups nice this is excellent um you have oh i thought that was popping out but it went right back in all right what else do we need to know here virgo love reading that's way too many just one or two virgo love reading these are just short little readings guys no more than 20 minutes what do we need to do to know in the way of love for anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Virgo love reading. The Hierophant. Somebody else had the Hierophant in the same exact spot. I want to say it was Taurus. I think Taurus had the, that same exact Hierophant in that same exact spot. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Anyone with Virgo placements? Anyone who's guided to see the Virgo reading? Anyone. Okay, this hit my hand in a weird way, the star. It came out kind of on its side. I'm going to leave it on its side. We're going to call it a challenge because it came out in the right way, and then my hand hit it, and it went the other way. So I'm not sure what way it needs to be. I'm going to put it on its side. We're going to call it a challenge. I'm going to get another one on top of it, okay? Give me one more card on top of the star. Any more information about why it came out in such a funky way? What do I need to know about that star? The Magician reversed, okay? Okay. All right, so someone's having a hard time manifesting in what they want. That's why it's a challenge. That's why I felt it needed to be a challenge. So someone with the Magician Reverse here, someone's having a hard time manifesting in this wish fulfillment, what they want. I feel like what they want is the Hierophant. See how the Hierophant's looking at her? Like, I want that. I want that relationship. I want to be able to end an old cycle with the world here in reverse. King of Swords getting a lot of clarity. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You got the, you got the King of Swords here and the Star here. And here we go, the Nine of Cups. Now, you could also have Aquarius in your chart for it to be coming out this much. Okay, and then the Magician is here and it's in the reverse on top of your wish fulfillment that is a challenge. All right, give me one more card here for this Virgo reading. So what we have going on, for some of you, if especially if you're a masculine, I feel like you're getting good and clear about who and what you want and what you wanna do. Give me one more card, Virgo love reading. Virgo love reading, what's important? Okay, death, in, death came out as a challenge too, mostly on its side. Oh my God, whoo, 10 of swords. All right, let's talk. So, wow. Oh my gosh. All right, we've got to talk. Seriously, look at this. So this is a bunch of stuck energy. Eight of pentacles. I mean, four of pentacles and eight of cups reversed. This is no budge, no budging. Nothing's budging. The light is going to shine on something that will not move forward, hasn't moved forward. But see, this really has to do with emotional stuckness like something could have happened that has put somebody in such a funk that they won't budge also we have this ten of swords here are we going to see this as well i mean the sun could be reflecting right on something that happened here that was devastating for someone something about a whew, god this is a lot of harsh energy um, stuck energy, but it's at the end. Okay, so here's the thing. So a new day is dawning here. Yes, something's done. I mean done. But the thing is, what's done might be all this stuck energy. I mean, we want something like this to be done. This is, this is a lot of stuck energy. Not budging, right? We want that to be done. So maybe this needed to end. Okay, and sometimes, yes, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean it wasn't painful, right? But a new day dawns from, you know, death, rebirth. That's what that feels like to me. And look over here. The death card is the challenge to the reading. Getting unstuck. It's in the reverse as a challenge. 
this tells me that that new day dawning and letting that other cycle go has not been easy someone had a very difficult time manifesting it they could not manifest in they did or they're going to but it's been very hard because they're getting their wish fulfillment nine of cups right there so the end the cycle has been completely stuck this cycle's coming okay it's coming we want this world in the upright whenever i see a card like the world or the wheel of fortune or the fool any of these things that are going to be a new cycle or even an ace telling me that the new beginnings on the horizon if i see all these things any of these things in reverse i know something's got to give what's got to give do we have to fully see that something's over and release it release it like really see it okay that could be what's going on here someone's finally it's almost like phoenix rising from the ashes like the judgment card should be right smack dab in the middle of this reading saying oh like someone sees the fact that they've been holding up their own cycle by not budging um and they have been unable to manifest what they want they've been able unable to get what they want but they're going to once they see it clearly okay these are cards of clarity the king of swords and the sun you could be dealing with an aquarius libra gemini uh no mostly aquarius this is like aquarius everywhere aquarius scorpio and leo are coming through very strongly in this reading so is taurus okay so these are some of the things you some of the signs you could be dealing with doesn't have to be but they're coming through the strongest aquarius leo what else did i say <laughs> taurus and scorpio coming through the strongest all right, Virgo's here too, so keep that in mind. So is Gemini. All right, let just slightly here. Let's get into some clarity on this. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading? What are the most important messages we have for anyone who's guided to see this reading? Virgo reading, love only for December 2021. For anyone who's guided to see it, what are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Virgo love reading December 2021 it's for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it all right let's do it Virgo reading and love here what do we need to know about love for Virgo the world reversed what's important about this world re reverse that we need to know yeah absolutely look at that star on its side as a challenge your wish fulfillment you're keeping yourself from your own wish fulfillment by staying stuck and if it's not you it's definitely an aquarius look at this the moon because you're seeing something skewed see how that cat sees themselves as much bigger than they actually are like when this kitty cat looks in the water they actually see like a, a puma or something a leopard i don't know and then we've got this you know, black leopard, of course. Um, and here we've got this little teeny kitty cat that's really just a teeny kitty cat. It's not seeing something correctly and needing to shine the light on what you're really seeing here to know the truth in a matter that's been holding you back, okay? I feel like somebody, and here's King of Swords, all about truth and clarity. Let's find out. And look, the sun again. It's all about you getting this clarity. All this is clarity coming in for you. Okay, and it's all about your clarity. This just happened to be sitting at the bottom after the moon came out. The sun and the moon, total opposite effects, right? One skews things and one brightens things. Tell me about the um, King of Swords here. Is there anything specific we need to know about the King of Swords? Virgo reading. Love. wow absolutely so we've got here the ten of pentacles and we have the eight of swords reversed this is excellent excellent we're getting out of that whatever has had you feeling um so trapped or blinded see how she's blindfolded she feels like she doesn't know all the answers she doesn't know what to do she feels trapped she feels tied up she feels like she can't budge whatever it is it's getting released here um, there's truth there's clarity and we have the ten of pentacles wow so if this has to do with your stability your family your money whatever it is it doesn't matter what it is whatever your ten of pentacles is your home your family there's some kind of clarity you're getting on this tell me about um 
I need to go down here to the Hierophant. Tell me about this Hierophant. Virgo reading. Why is Hierophant here? And I do feel like that King of Swords is your energy of clarity. Now, could you be dealing with an Aquarius? Yes. Or you could have it in your chart, right? But I feel for the majority of you, this is this clarity you're getting. And you're seeing something that allows you to get out of your head and stop feeling like you can't see something. She's blindfolded, right? But then this clarity comes in and it's like um, like the sun coming in and brightening everything up and you just see something you didn't see before tell me about the hierophant what do we need to know aquarius reading the hierophant hierophant what's important Ooh. okay yeah Seven of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Here they are in the upright. They're both reversed. So somebody coming in to make the offer or you going in to make the offer has taken way too long. All right. So somebody feels like, oh my God, it's been so long. I want to be together with this person. I want the commitment, but why haven't I budged on it? Again, because something's been holding you back and holding you back and holding you back. And I feel like it has something to do with these 10 swords. So you're at the end of an old cycle here. You're finally releasing something or you're about to that's been painful. And whatever it is has held you back from commitment. I really believe it. And you, it's held you, been you, keeping you from being able to properly manifest in all this wishes and dreams and hopes that you have um, because you've been unable to manifest it in because you've been still stuck in this very... Um, wow stuck stuck right energy back here of uh, something that was very painful in your life tell me about um the nine of cups uh, we skipped it up there i want to go back up to it tell me about nine of cups what are the, what is this about the nine of cups we need to know about gemini or i'm sorry i almost said gemini virgo reading nine of cups why is it here what do we need to know about it virgo reading nine of cups Oh gosh, it's too many. Hold on one sec, guys. I gotta take this ring off. You know, your fingers shrink through the day. They were, it was fine earlier, and now it's flopping around. <laughs> okay, nine of cups. What do we need to know? Virgo reading nine of cups. Okay, we got three, but let's look at them. Well, so here you are. Okay, this could be you, King of pentacles reversed male or female i don't care um and we also have king of cups in the upright normally for me king of pentacles is masculine and king of cups could be either or but whatever works for you you know um there's some kind of new beginning between you and another person coming in this is wish fulfillment this person most likely is cancer pisces or scorpio but could really be anyone all right um some kind of new beginning. This is something you really want. You've had a very hard time manifesting it because of something that took a very long time um, for you to manifest. Tell me about the star as a challenge and the magician reversed here. What do we need to know about this? Virgo reading. To me, this is really someone having a difficult time bringing in what they want. They were like unable to bring it in. Yeah, look, look. I went into the hangman mode, which is where you go to manifest, right? We go into the hangman mode and we get enlightened. This is when we put ourselves into an uncomfortable position to see things from another perspective and to become enlightened, to gain spiritual information, to get uh, intuitive information from our guides, our angels. And what's it about? It's about a brand new beginning the ace of wands and what do you got to do you're going to have to make a decision even if you don't know which way it's going to go and this is where i feel like you got stuck you got stuck back here because you don't know what way it's going to go you know that you want to go in and do something that's been way too overdue way overdue this commitment that you want you've stayed stuck because of something that happened in the past or something that you were dealing with that was difficult but now we're at a point where you're like, I see it. I see I, it's way overdue. I should have done this a long time ago. And now I have to make a decision. And spirit says, look, whether or not you know what's going to happen, you're blindfolded to it and you need to use your intuition. There's two cards here saying you're going to need to new, use your intuition. Okay. For that new beginning. But spirit still says, go for it anyway, because nothing good comes of stagnancy. If you stay stagnant like this, 
you stay in the Ten of Swords. This is someone who won't budge and won't move forward and won't progress. The sun's shining right on it saying, you can't stay like this. Something's got to give. You're going to have to see things from another perspective. You're going to have to make a decision whether or not you know what's going to happen. The biggest things in our life, all the decisions we make in our life, we never, they don't come with a rule book. They don't come with an outcome book that says, oh, it's going to turn out like this. You never know, but you take the risks anyway. The best things that have ever happened to you in your life have come from you taking a leap of faith, not knowing, completely blindfolded of where that arrow or that, what is it? Um, it's a um, atom is going to land when it hits that board. She's holding an atom in her hand, you know, but it's going to bring you a new beginning. Spirit says, trust us. It's going to bring you a new beginning. Take the risk anyway. All right, let's look at the death card reverse because the death card reverse has been a challenge. Getting unstuck, all this stuck energy back here that has been devastating or because of something devastating, this has been the challenge to you being able to manifest in what you want. And we don't want any more of that because you want and you deserve the star twice in your reading as a challenge twice as a challenge you want and you deserve the nine of cups you want and you deserve the ten of pentacles you deserve all this and you want all this you want the hierophant you want it just get yourself out of the funk and get yourself into the new vibe here tell me about the death card reversed as a challenge death card reverse means no transformation happening and stuck energy Tell me about the death card in reverse as a challenge here in this reading for Virgo. Anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Virgo reading. Death card reverse as a challenge. What is it we need to know about it? Absolutely. Taking the action and manifesting what you want. King of Wands, Three of Wands. This is someone who takes action and calls in what they want. So what you were trying to call in and couldn't as the magician reverse here, the three of wands is the magi magician in the upright. Look at him. He's wearing the magician cape. This is like the mini magician of any tarot deck, right? This is someone taking the action and manifesting in what it is they want instead of watching everything pass them by. I liked your reading, Virgo. I really feel like it had um, a strong message for you, like something spirit desperately wants to get through to you before you go into 2022. Spirit says, release yourself from this toxic stuckness you've been in because all it is is holding you back from new beginnings and beautiful hopes, wishes, and dreams that you have that are yours for the taking, but you got to get up and take them. You got to take risks. You got to make moves. You got to do things that scare you. And that's for all of us. Okay. We all do. Every single one of us has got to make moves and big, bold decisions in our life. It's part of our journey. We're not supposed to be, you know, a mouse in the corner. We're supposed to be a lion in the den, baby. <laughs> all right. Let me get you a couple cards here. Uh, angels, what do we need to know here for this Virgo reading? What do we need to know? Anything do you want us to focus on or know about for anyone who will resonate? Okay, let's go to the bottom and pull. Release, baby, release. What did I just say? Release whatever it is that holds you back that happened in the past. Let it go. You got a blank one, so I'm going to grab you another one. Gratitude. Wow. One of my favorites. One of my very favorites. And look what you got. Delight. Delight. Awesome. You're going to be so happy. Listen, if you release this, you're going to have such gratitude and so much delight in your heart for doing this. You're going to be so happy you did it because you're opening yourself up for all these things that you want and you wish you had but haven't been able to have. All because you've been holding back and holding back and holding on and holding on to something painful from the past. Let it go. All right, guys, I hope this is helpful for someone. I hope and pray that you can release this and walk into that new year, a whole new you and a great vibration. You have new opportunities everywhere. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. You have wish fulfillment everywhere. It's all a challenge to get to because it's being held back by stuck energy, by you, by only by yourself. You're the only one holding you back, okay? All right, guys, I hope that this helps in some way. Could you please comment down below? 
Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to exchange energy with you always, always, always. Um, thank you guys for so much for a great year, 2021. Thank you guys so much. Please stay safe for the new year. I can't wait for 2022. I have new things coming in and we're doing things different for 2022. Um, we're going to do things a little bit different. I'll be putting out announcements and stuff. Um, please, guys, comment. Like the video. Don't forget. Please don't drink and drive during the holidays. And don't get in the car with anyone else who is. Please call a friend. Call a loved one. Call an Uber. But don't get in a car with anyone drinking. And stay off the roads, man. People are going to do this. They're going to drive drunk. Whether you do or not, they will. Please just stay safe. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.